Okay, here we are back with the portrait. Um, it's had a few minutes to dry off a bit because we can only be aggressive with our scumbling um, and start peeling up the lower layers because acrylics dry from the surface. So it kind of forms a plastic skin and if you're too aggressive with it you can pull that plastic skin back and if you keep worrying at it you'll just make a crater which is obviously bad. So now I've got my slightly smaller um, hog hair brush here. I'm a little worried this one is still a bit too perfect but we'll get on with it. We have to make sure that the paint is not too wet. So I'm dabbing my brush on some tissue here and scumbling it round on a piece of plain cardboard to take the excess out. So let's see how this is going to go. I can make a more definite um, more precise area of illumination with this now. So working my way out from the chin where I've tested it, let's put a little mark across where the light on the bottom lip is going to go, like a little shelf of light sticking out there. A little bit of illumination above on the top lip, which does have some wonderful craggy marks. This person has seen some life. I can 